Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Rhino Fishing TV, and it is time for the May edition of the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Unboxing. And I'm going to get a double this month. I'm also going to unbox this sweet box I just got from Carl's Bait and Tackle. And it's some odds and ends that I ordered uh, from there that I thought you might be interested in seeing. If you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, it is a subscription-based service where you get a box of goodies every month that's uh, some pretty cool stuff. It's a great way to build up your tackle arsenal and learn new fishing techniques and try out some new lures that you might not otherwise buy for yourself. So go check them out at the URL down below. Use code RHINO at checkout and you can get your first box for as little as $10. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into the uh, MTB and then we'll knock out that box from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Alright, as you can see, I am outside today. It's too beautiful to be doing this video inside. So I'm doing this unboxing on the nasty, filthy tailgate of my pickup truck. But that's alright. Kind of puts it more in context anyway when it comes to outdoorsy fishing type stuff so let's see what we got in here Ooh, i like what i see so far but the first thing i'm looking for is the what's inside your box card and here it is right here oh they're changing it up on me folks so apparently i'm supposed to scan this little box here and it's going to tell me what's inside on my phone. So let me go get my phone. Stand by. Okay, I'm back with my phone. So let's see if we can uh, figure this out. Like, yep, I want to open that up. And check that out. How cool is that? So the first thing up is the Strike Pro Cranky XSS. And it retails for $9.99. Let me find that dude. Got to be that guy. It's a rather large crankbait. Very silver, chromey looking. Here's a good look at it. Let's see if I can find some, some info on it. Looks like it must be a wake bait. It says the uh, depth is 0 to 0 0.3 feet. The uh, color on it is Wagon Hasu, and I don't have any idea what that means. Uh, but that's a pretty sweet looking wake bait, and I will probably be throwing that soon. Alright, let's see what we got next. Grab the old phone here. Next we got from Optimum Baits, the Optimum Original Swim Bait. That retails for $8.99. I think it's that bait that I... I fumbled earlier. Yep, there it is. From Optimum Baits. Pretty nice looking swim bait. I'll take it out of the package for you to look at it right here. See if I can get any specs on it. It's model number 500, which is Shad. So that's probably the color as well. Looks pretty straightforward. Just tie it on and throw it out there and swim it back to you, I would reckon. And those types of swim baits always do well in my local lake. So uh, I look forward to throwing that one around from Optimum Baits. Up next, from 10,000 Fish, the Cycle Bait. That retails for $8.49. And I have purchased a couple of these recently uh, because I was pretty intrigued by them. And I've actually got one tied on right now. And I've got a Yield Eliminator as a trailer on that thing. And the thing that's remarkable about this cycle bait is because of the way the spinner blade is attached to the uh, wire with those big rings, it gives it a very exaggerated wobbling motion that ought to entice some pretty big bites. I will admit I have not yet caught a fish on it. I really haven't thrown it that much either though. But I imagine that will change in the not too distant future. These things are 3 eighths of an ounce. And this one is a willow blade. And let me see if I can get a uh, color for you. Dark June Bug. It's got a four alt hook, and like you saw, the uh, willow blade is gold. They recommend trailering this thing with a 10,000 fish yodel worm. Probably a pretty good idea. 
All right, thank you, 10,000 fish. Let's see what we got next from Acme Tackle, Kalen's Tickle Tail, which is some soft plastics, and there they are right there. Color on these is sunny. Those actually look pretty sweet. I'm sure I've got a appropriately sized swim bait hook to put those on. And I like the color too. These uh, gold patterns like this do really well for the bass and even the larger crappie there in my local lake. So I uh, look forward to throwing those around a little bit. All right. Grab my phone again. Next up. From Bruiser Baits, the stick worm retails for four dollars and sixty-nine cents, and I am never going to turn down another pack of stick baits. There, those are. There's uh, seven in this package. The color is Swamp Swirl, and it's kind of a laminate-looking conglomeration of green pumpkin and blue. I like the looks of those. Definitely will be throwing those around, probably weightless Texas rigged. Been working really well for me lately. Okay, next from Fishui Lures, the Dogger Pup. Retails for $2.95. And it's some weird looking trick worm thingies. Probably meant for a shaky head. Uh, that looks like a four pack. I don't have a color called out on there, but it looks very similar to cinnamon or something like that. It's got some pink and blue flake in it. Interesting looking. I'll figure out a way to rig those and fish them. Probably on a shaky head. And then the last piece of tackle in the box from Harmony Fishing Company is a bag of hooks. And these are their Razor Series EWG hooks. Three pack for one dollar and ninety nine cents, and I've gotten these several times in Mystery Tackle Box. I think this is maybe the third or fourth pack that I've gotten. Uh, but I use them, and I will use these. That would uh, pair really nicely with those Bruiser Baits stick worms. All right, and then other things in the box is some information on the Optimum Original Swim Bait. A cool looking sticker with a tree pounder on there. Caught a few of those recently. And then there's the Dibble Tips and Tricks from MTB pamphlet with some nice timely articles in there on bass fishing on the cheap, pan fishing, walleye fishing, shrimp lures, and carp fishing. Don't do too much of that. I will read that later. And we also have an information card on the 10,000 fish cycle bait. And you can see right here on the front that you can get that with either a willow blade or a Colorado blade. Sorry about the traffic noise there, folks. All right, cool. Let me quickly reload this box, and then I'll break out the other box for you. Overall, I would give this box a A-. minus. I think the only thing in there I'm not real excited about is that wake bait, but maybe I should be. Okay, here we go. I am pretty excited about the stuff in this box because I purposely ordered it because I was running short on some things, some of my faves. So I'm happy to get these. I've been doing without. All right, there's the packing slip. I'll get that out of the way. So it got me a fresh pack of Guggen Baits Saucy Swimmers and in white, my favorite color for these little paddle tail swim baits. And uh, I know I'll probably go through those pretty quickly. Happy to have them. And then I got four packs of these Guggen Baits Lunker Logs in my favorite right color, which is black and red flake. stocked back up on those. I go through these pretty quickly. The plastic on these is really soft and uh, kind of fragile, but boy do the bass love them. I've had really, really good success with these lately, uh, even though I go through them pretty quickly. That's why I ordered so many. All right. And then the last thing is 
also from Guggen Squad, their new new click bait, you know, kind of like their answer to the chatter bait. And I really like this color right here, and I would probably also trailer that with a 10,000 fish Yoda worm. That would probably be a pretty sweet combo. This one is a 3 8 ounce, and what's the color on it? Sunrise Crawl. So that is it for the unboxing. Please go and check out Carl's Bait and Tackle at the URL down below. And uh, they got some really good deals there in addition to, you know, being a place where you would sign up for Mystery Tackle Box. If you join Carl's Club uh, for a small annual fee, you'll get all kinds of discounts on most of the things in their store, such as these Guggen Baits. Uh, I think you can get those... Uh, Lunker logs for I don't know, around three dollars and fifty cents a pack or something like that, and they're running sales all the time on other stuff and even uh, you know big tackle like rods and reels. So please go check them out; you won't regret it. I hope to get that MTB out on the water maybe this Friday afternoon if I'm lucky, and maybe we'll try an MTB slam. But until then, until the next time we see you out on the water, thanks for watching and take care. Tight lines, and we'll see you soon. Bye.